I share that, that exercise with you because it does show us that we are creatures of habit. We do things, like I said, all the time. But the number one habit that I want to talk to you today is about positive attitude. That's the number one answer. I've been doing this for over 15 years. Henry Ford said it best, if we think we can, we can. If we think we can't, we can. Now, my talk today is about positive culture with a rock star attitude. When they asked me to speak about that, I was like, really? Some of the rock stars that I followed, I don't know if I want their attitude. But what, I, what we mean about rock star attitude is someone that's just driven, someone that's just exciting, passionate, loves what they do. You know, a lot of these, you know, these people that we follow, these rock stars, you know what, they do it for free. They did it for free for years. How many of, how many of you remember uh, Behind the Music and VH1? When you used to watch about how, you know, how they lived in the van next to the river and you know, lived in you know, one apartment with 12 guys. But I, there's a lot to learn. But back to attitude, though. Stanford did a study that 87.5% of our success is derived from our positive attitude. 12.5% is from the people that we know and the education that we get. I hear speakers say all the time and authors, attitude is everything. They're dead wrong. Attitude is the most important thing. Attitude is what drives cultures, what drives success within organizations. As I train companies around the country, it comes from the top, the leadership. I can tell when I walk into an organization just by the way they, they greet me, by the way they answer my questions, by the way they talk to me, I can tell the attitude of their leadership. I can tell the, the culture within what they have. Now, Webster states that attitude is the way we think or feel about someone or something. I think it's more than that. I think it's about being strong-minded. I think about, it's about being inspirational. I think it's about being responsible, dedicated, and disciplined on the success that you want to get. But have you ever noticed on our way to success, whatever success that we're looking for, or whatever success that we're trying to drive within our organizations, that somewhere along the way, we have negative events, negative circumstances, challenges, setbacks. We have things that come and arise, and sometimes we don't know how to handle them. But the number one definition, I think, or the number one trait from a positive attitude is the way we respond to things. Charles Swindle said it best. Life is 10% what happens and 90% how we respond to it.